Next up we have Chapter Gold. And he's going to present something called a tribute to Camp Black. Good morning. How's everybody feeling? Awesome. Uh, I'm Chet, and um, I'm here to talk a little bit about the Spanish-American War. Uh, might there be any veterans here from the Spanish-American War? Yes, okay. Yes, thank you for your service. Yeah. Um, my wife and I, we bought a home in Uniondale about 30 years ago. Uh, I'm sorry, 38 years ago. And uh, recently, about a year ago, we bumped into a newspaper article about a camp that was established in Uniondale, where I live. And I imagine in my mind that my house is like, that's where the, the camp was. And there were 12,000 troops uh, living in tents, and their purpose was to um, prepare for the Spanish-American War. It was a training camp. Uh, of the 12,000, 1,000 of them actually from the 101st Regiment, they uh, actually got to see some action. Um, the camp was only existed from April of 1898 to September, so it only existed five months. But this resonated me, with me in a very personal way because this is my town, my house, and, and I'm thinking and I'm going, you know, it's just amazing. You know, I, I've had this career of banging on stuff, and there are people like the young men at, at Camp Black that rose to the call of duty, um, left their loved ones, uh, perhaps thinking that you know, maybe I might be injured or severely injured, or maybe I might lose my life uh, defending my country. And um, it, it really, um, there's so many ways that that kind of thought resonates with all of us, but on this day, that really kind of got my mind, and um, a great feeling of gratitude that, um, that I'm very lucky to live here. So, um, I wrote this piece, it's called Camp Black, and I'd like to perform it for you today. And this piece is, it's very short, it's a snare part with a accompaniment, and um, it has four sections. The first short section is, um, I try to capture call to, to, call to duty and uh, honor of serving. And you'll hear a trumpet, and a familiar drum beat. And then that morphs into section two, which I try to capture the darkness of battle and the horrors of war. And I do believe you'll hear, or you can image soldiers marching. Um, there's a raunchy guitar that gets thrown in there, uh, some dissonant chords, um, a haunting trumpet, low, lower register trumpet, and, um, and the snare part for a bar or two gets a little convoluted. Um, and then the, the next section, again, this is all quick sections, the next section is uplifting, and it's about the, um, um, the celebration of freedom, and I do believe you'll feel that, and uh, the pride of country. And then finally, the last section is uh, very somber, and its uh, purpose is to uh, acknowledge and uh, pay respect to the fallen. So I'd like to dedicate this to the uh, soldiers of Camp Black, uh, to our veterans throughout our, the history of our country, um, to our present day men and women that are serving, and to our military musicians who, um, I know everybody in this room, we are in awe of uh, their talents and uh, uh, their diligence. So I present to you Camp Black.
very much. Um, thank you, I appreciate that. Um, I'm, I want to share with you a movement that I'm a part of and I'm very proud. My buddy Jack Stein, Vietnam veteran, myself, the Hippicles and uh, the Elks on Long Island, we've partnered to create a drum event that happens in winter. It's called Drum for Our Veterans. And uh, we have uh, had amazing drummers over about, just about 100 drummers that participated this past winter. And uh, our purpose is to raise money for the veterans at the VA hospital on Long Island. Uh, also to honor our veterans, we've had some really beautiful tributes uh, during our event. And also, uh, it's just a great drum event where we get drummers that came from up and down the East Coast uh, donating their time and talents. And, um, and I bring this up because um, one of the things that we did this year was start a Hall of Fame. And um, we thought it would be a really cool thing to try to acknowledge some individuals for their service to country and at the same time, um, the candidates for this Hall of Fame happen to be drummers that have made significant contributions uh, to our drumming community. So it is my honor to uh, present to four people, USARD members, uh, today. And I know, I, I, I want to say this too, I know there are so many deserving uh, veterans here today, but we only could honor four. And if I could, I'd like to get uh, Mr. John Flowers, Mr. John Bosworth, Mr. Bill McGrath, Jr. And uh, Jack Pratt's not here, but he's one of our inductees, too. So if I could ask you to please step forward, I'd very much appreciate that. <laughs> Gentlemen. Have any uh, uh, West Point? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, right yeah. Could, yeah. Could you come up please and receive this on behalf of uh, Jack Pratt? Yeah. Yeah. So, gentlemen, uh, on behalf of Drumming for our Veterans, I want to thank you for your service to our country and uh, for your incredible contributions to our drum community. We thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.